yet ye have forsaken me, and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. Go, and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen, let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation. And the children of Israel said unto the Lord, We have sinned. Do thou unto us whatsoever seemeth good unto thee. Deliver us only, we pray thee this day. And they put away the strange gods from among them, and served the Lord. And his soul was grieved for the misery of Israel. Israelites, you must understand how the kingdom of darkness used religion to keep the indigenous black people in bondage. The indigenous black people need to comprehend how organized religion is the root to the kingdom of darkness deception in the physical realm. Most people believe religion connect them to the Elohim of Israel. The synagogue of Satan deceived many Israelites and indigenous black people to believe being a member of one of religion's popular faith will give them eternal life with the Most High. The workers of iniquity in the beast system has convinced the indigenous black people and Israelites that without religion, there is no hope for them. The scripture said those whose name that is not written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire where Satan, the false prophet, and the beast will be forever. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night for ever and ever. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. How do you get your name written in the book of life? Many of you, including myself, sat in churches and heard the pastors preach about accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will not enter the kingdom of God. The doctrine of accepting Jesus is the leading doctrine the synagogue of Satan used to deceive many into idol worship in Christianity. Israelites, it is important for you to read for yourself with the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, Israelites and indigenous black people will continue to be deceived by the high level workers of iniquity in Christianity. With the numerous doctrines I've heard while I was a prisoner in religion, as well as doctrines that follow many Israelites into the awakening, the doctrines we were subject to in the churches are not of the most high. The dangerous doctrines taught in Christianity are doctrines of devils. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, the doctrines of devils are being taught by Satan's ministers, disguising themselves to be ministers of righteousness. Beware of the high-level workers of iniquity in the church misleading the sheep. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. The scripture revealed to us that the church is saturated with Satan's ministers disguising themselves as ministers of righteousness. The time has come for the indigenous black people to open their eyes to the deception in Christianity as well as the many other faith under the umbrella of religion. Many of the doctrines we have heard over the years are easily debunked and exposed with the help of the Holy Spirit who reveal truth and tell us the things to come. The workers of iniquity spend a great amount of time getting the people to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior instead of teaching the people how to get their names written in the book of life. Israelites, it is important that your name is not blotted out of the book of life. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. The scripture said at the great white throne, the people who did not rise at the first resurrection, Remember, the people who survived the tribulation period and those who did not receive the mark of the beast and die for the word of the Most High during the tribulation period will not experience the second death. They will reign with the Messiah as priests for a thousand years. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. 
and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. But the rest of the dead lived not again until the thousand years were finished. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection. On such the second death hath no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ, and shall reign with him a thousand years. All the people who did not rise during the first resurrection will be judged at the great white throne. If their names are not written in the book of life, they are cast into the lake of fire. The criteria of your judgment was based on your works. How come Christianity do not emphasize your works? Instead, the workers of iniquity encourage you to allow an idol to take your sins and do all the work for you. If you're judged based on your works, the time has come for the people to listen to the voice of the Most High and follow his instructions. Israelites, do you see the importance of being doers of the word? In addition, following the instructions of the Most High, I recommend that you listen to last week's message about being doers of the word. Last week, I highlighted how important it is to make messages about being doers of the word and repentance go viral. I hope the remnant take heed. The scripture said the dead was judged according to their works, not if they accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged every man according to their works. John said to the people, repent for the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. The high level workers of iniquity tell the sheep, accept Jesus and be saved. The book of Revelation said the people are judged according to their works. Christianity said, accept Jesus, he will do all the works for you. How come their doctrines do not align with the scriptures? The time has come for the indigenous black people and Israelites all over the world to wake up to the deep rooted deception in religion. The scripture said the dead will be judged according to their works. The book of life, as well as the other books used to determine your eligibility to spend eternity with the most high, documented everything about you. What is written about you in those books is a testimony against you. The most high has written everything down. Nobody will be without excuse. The scriptures warn us to be careful with the words we use because we must give an account of every word spoken. But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. So many Israelites and indigenous black people believe because they haven't been judged or held accountable for their iniquities, they have gotten away. Let me remind you, everything about you is documented. You may fool other people, but you cannot fool the Most High. The Most High said, what is done in darkness will come to light. Israelites and indigenous black people, if the Most High do not chastise you for your sins and iniquity, then you don't belong to the Most High. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. To those of you who complain about hardship and trials and tribulations, count it as joy when you experience trials and persecuted. The Most High accepted you as one of his. The scripture said in the book of James, when you are persecuted, your faith is being tested to work out patience. My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. 
do not despise some of the hardship you experience because trials and tribulation are designed to bring change. Positive changes that will take you off the path of destruction and put you on a path that will bring repentance to save your life. If you don't belong to the Most High, He will let you die in your sins. Yah will allow Satan to blind your eyes so that you cannot see and understand the affairs of the Most High. The Most High will make everything pertaining to Him and eternal life foolishness in the sight of those who are perishing. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. Israelites, don't become jealous of the wicked who appear to be succeeding in the beast system. They don't belong to the Most High. They are a part of the walking dead. Do not covet anything they possess. Their success is an illusion. Israelites, ask the Most High for a double portion of the spirit of discernment. That is how you will be able to see the unseen as well as not falling for the deceptions from the kingdom of darkness. The reason the synagogue of Satan is pushing the people to accept the false Messiah they need to establish a covenant. Without a covenant, they don't have access to you. The workers of iniquity use the spirit of fear and many other unclean spirits to deceive the people into forging evil covenants in religion. The workers of iniquity in Christianity is telling the people to accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If the people do not accept Jesus, they will not be saved nor make it into the kingdom of the Most High. By accepting this doctrine, many sheep are giving the kingdom of darkness the permission they need to establish evil covenants. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. To get permission, the workers of iniquity use deception. When the people accept the graven image of the false Messiah as their Lord and Savior, they gave Satan permission. The indigenous black people are agreeing to make Jesus their God. A covenant is an agreement. Why must you accept Jesus as your God when the Elohim of Israel is your God and Savior? Many Israelites do not realize they are making the false representation of the Messiah and the Most High as their God when they accept Christianity and its demonic doctrines. The indigenous black people have established evil covenants with the kingdom of darkness through the sin of idolatry. That is how many are worshiping other gods in the land of their captivity, just as the scriptures reveal the people of the Most High would do in the land of their captivity. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. And there ye shall serve gods, the work of men's hands, wood and stone, which neither see, nor hear, nor eat, nor smell. The circulating image that depict the Messiah in Christianity is not accurate. So many worship and serve that graven image, transforming that graven image into an idol. With the doctrine of the false Messiah as the Elohim of Israel in the flesh opens the door to the sin of idolatry. The sheep believe the workers of iniquity and accept the portrait of the graven image as their Lord and Savior, as well as the Elohim of Israel in the flesh. Anyone who accept the faith Christianity have also accepted the belief of this religion. You can't be a part of something you don't believe in. Every indigenous black person who call themselves Christian believe the Messiah and God of the Bible is white like the other species of mankind. They also accepted the inferior position in the beast system by giving the other species of mankind dominion. Through religion, Satan can deceive the whole world. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. The traditions Christians observe in their religion are traditions that are rooted in deception. For example, what does Santa Claus have to do with the birth of the Messiah? What does bunnies and Easter eggs have to do with the resurrection? Rabbits do not lay eggs. How can Christianity be of the Most High if its traditions are based on lies? The scriptures said, 
Satan is the father of lies. How can the people of the Most High continue to follow Christianity as well as the other religions when the foundation of all religion are fairy tales with the intent to deceive? The indigenous black people are also establishing evil covenants when they observe the so-called holy days and follow the heathen's traditions. Albeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men, as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. By now you should know the traditions the heathens keep are fairy tales rooted in deception. The heathens portray the Messiah in their likeness in the beast system with the intent to deceive the sheep into accepting an inferior position in the beast system. The indigenous black people also agree to put the people who share the same appearance with the graven image of the Messiah on a pedestal, giving these people godlike status in the beast system. That is the reason many indigenous black people are altering their appearance to resemble the other species of mankind. So many indigenous black people are procreating with the serpent seed to erase themselves. If what I'm saying is false, why so many Israelites and indigenous black people suffer from self-hate? The population of the tares have increased significantly in this generation. So many indigenous black people do not realize they are erasing the image of the Most High to fill the earth with the image of Satan when they procreate with the other species of mankind. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. The kingdom of darkness obtained submission from the indigenous black people while establishing evil covenants with false doctrines in religion. Israelites, that is the reason the synagogue of Satan forced the doctrine of accepting the Messiah as your Lord and Savior. Behind the scenes, they are establishing evil covenants with the sheep. Israelites, I hope you're beginning to comprehend how the kingdom of darkness established covenants to gain access into your life via the religion called Christianity. The scripture said, the things which the heathens sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to the most high. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. The word of the Most High has warned the Israelites and the indigenous black people about the high level workers of iniquity sacrificing to devils in religion. When you see the pastor offering sacrifices during their Sunday morning services, the Most High is not receiving these sacrifices. Religion is idolatry. I have been telling you for several years, you cannot have idolatry without witchcraft. They go hand in hand. Idolatry and witchcraft are brother and sister. The high level workers of iniquity who practice sorcery under religion must give their idol God a sacrifice. He that sacrificeth unto any God, save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. The workers of iniquity sacrifice to their idols on an altar. The workers of iniquity communicate with their gods at an altar as well as the evil spirits they worship. At the altar is where they give their gods a sacrifice in exchange for their heart desire. If the altar is not built to the Most High, then it is an evil altar. Can you comprehend how witchcraft and idolatry go hand in hand? Have you ever wondered why altar calls are important during worship service? Religion is full of evil altars. Christianity disguised their evil altars. Yah said any altar that is built to him, he would visit that altar and bring blessings with him. An altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, and thy peace offerings, thy sheep and thine oxen. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. How come the Israelites and the indigenous black people who are committed to religion are not receiving any of those blessings the Most High promised to bring with him when he visit altars that are built to him? The reason the people of the Most High are not partaking in those blessings, the Most High is not there. 
you will not find the Most High living in the modern day house of bondage. The Most High does not dwell in houses that are made with human hands. Albeit, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands. As saith the prophet, heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool. What house will ye build me, saith the Lord? Or what is the place of my rest? Hath not my hand made all these things? The Most High placed his name only in one city. That city is Jerusalem. Blessed be the Lord out of Zion, which dwelleth at Jerusalem. Praise ye the Lord. Jerusalem is where the temple the Most High accepted was located. The Most High has specific instructions on how he wanted his people to operate and maintain his house. Today, heathens operate and control the so-called churches. The Roman Catholic Church is the head leader. The Most High chose the Levites to maintain his temple. Only the high priests from Aaron's bloodline could enter the Most High's sacred places. Today, the Most High Spirit lives in his people. The temple of the Most High was destroyed. Your body has become the temple that housed the spirit of the Most High, not the buildings many gather to worship today that lack the presence of the Most High. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Sorcery is the foundation to religion. The people whose spirits are tied to evil altars in religion will live a life of bondage. They are controlled by the workers of iniquity who sacrifice them on their evil altars to devils. The workers of iniquity are successful in doing this because the Israelites and indigenous black people give the kingdom of darkness permission when they follow Satan's ministers in religion. Many people who are trapped in religion are living defeated lives, especially the indigenous black people. When the people establish evil covenants, they are now worshiping devils. The devils they are worshiping has permission to do as they please in the sheep life, and the people have no idea. Most indigenous black people and Israelites believe they are serving the Elohim of Israel. The scripture said the leaders of these people are misleading them. The people who are led by the workers of iniquity and religion are destroyed. For the leaders of this people cause them to err, and they that are led of them are destroyed. Israelites, I hope you can begin to see why so many indigenous black people defend their wicked pastors. They are being controlled by that pastor through sorcery in the church. How can a group of people such as the indigenous black people that are committed to their God in religion live a defeated life in the beast system? Religion is designed to keep you in sin, just like the beast culture. The scripture says sin separate us from the Most High. Additionally, sin and iniquity cause the Most High to not hear our prayers. If the Israelites and indigenous black people remain separated from their protector, they are at the mercy of their enemies. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. If you ever wonder why the other species of mankind made sure to place an evil altar in the form of a church in every nation, in addition, leave behind a church in every land they colonize, that church served as an evil altar to make sure they never lose control of that land. The other species of mankind come back to those lands in the form of missionaries to continue to curse the people so that they remain in poverty and oppression. Remember, Satan's ministers disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. Religion is not only idolatry, but high level sorcery. Idolatry is the sin the most high hates. If the people of the most high remain in religion, they are transgressing the laws of the most high. The first commandment said there should be no other gods before the most high. The scripture said to the people of the most high, flee from idolatry. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, Flee from idolatry. I hope the indigenous black people can begin to comprehend the cause to the downfall of the indigenous black people's communities, regardless of bloodline. Religion is designed to keep the indigenous black people in sin. Repentance is important. Sorcery is being done daily and many people are unaware. 
through sorcery, the children of the wicked one can steal your destiny and do many diabolical things to you without the law of man interfering with their crimes. Sorcery is an attack done in the spirit realm. Remember, your spirit is the real you. Also, everything that is going to take place in your life and the world take place first in the spirit realm. Sorcery can truly destroy a person's life. That is why the Most High reserve harsh judgment for the people who practice sorcery. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live, a man also, or woman that hath a familiar spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones, their blood shall be upon them. Early and unexpected death, having no answer to the root cause of an illness, a person suddenly suffer from mental illness and many other suspicious activities that man can't determine the root cause are attacks done in the spirit realm through sorcery. Modern day religion has nothing to do with righteousness and the most high. Religion glorify the kingdom of darkness. The workers of iniquity deceive many Israelites and indigenous black people into worshiping devils by using the likeness of the most high and half truth in religion. The time has come for every Israelite and indigenous black people denounce every evil covenant established in the house of bondage in religion. After you break those covenants and repent, come out of the house of bondage. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. With everything the Most High is revealing to his people in the awakening, how can the indigenous black people remain in religion? The scriptures do not support the doctrines of Christianity. Those doctrines are meant to make you feel good so you can let your guard down. The Most High said to his people, be vigilant because your enemy, the devil, prowls like a roaring lion seeking who he can devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. The word of the Most High said at the great white throne room, everyone will be judged according to their works. Israelites, does the things written about you in the Most High's books reveal you are doers of the word and obeying the voice of the Most High? Does your autobiography written by the Most High declare you belong to him? Does the things written down about you in the Most High's book of remembrance declare you're religious? Israelites and indigenous black people worldwide, do you believe your name is written in the book of life? None of us wants to hear, depart from me, I never knew you. The Most High is giving his people the opportunity to repent. Israelites, repent, for the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing praises unto his name, for it is pleasant. For the Lord hath chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. For I know that the Lord is great, and that our Lord is above all gods.